Project 150 is transistor. I'm going to turn on the slide switch, and then I'm going to gradually move the lever on the RV2 away from me. And you'll see that the color LED first comes on, then the bicolor LED. When I move the lever slowly back toward me, the color LED goes out the color LED and bicolor LEDs. When I move the lever back toward me, the two LEDs go out. The NPN transistor acts like an amplifier to make the current flowing through the bicolor LED stronger so that it can then go through the color LED. You can see how the color LED is on before the bicolor LED because the current flowing through the bicolor LED is not strong enough to light it, but after it goes through the amplifier, the NPN transistor, it's strong enough to light the color LED, depending on the setting of the adjustable resistor. Now, there's more power to go through the, to light the bicolor LED without the transistor. Now, if I switch the LEDs around, the bicolor LED comes on first because its current is amplified. And then finally, the color LED will light up once it receives enough, enough power without the amplifier. Project 151 is slow light. I have the slide switch already on, but I am going to, after moving the adjustable resistor to around the middle, I'm going to move the switcher toward me and watch the bicolor LED. It slowly comes on and it's going to stay on until I move the switcher back to the middle position and then it will slowly go out. The adjustable resistor controls how long the bicolor LED stays on by controlling how quickly the current flows from the C4 capacitor. It is charged up when you move the switcher towards you, but then it is discharged when you move the switch back to the middle position, just like that. I'm not going to wait for it to turn off because it takes a while, but it eventually will go out. If I use the C7 capacitor, it's going to go out much, much quicker because the C7 capacitor cannot store near as much energy as the C4 one. Project 152 is Wiggler. I'm going to turn on the slide switch and move the adjustable resistor lever back and forth. Now, What's supposed to happen is that on a very small range of the RV2, the air fountain will come on a little bit, causing the ball to move, wiggle around on the spout. It's not going to shoot up in the air, but unfortunately it's not working right now. The bicolor LED still comes on, but I'm going to replace the bicolor LED with a three snap wire. The ball will move around a lot more because the LED had earlier used up a lot, of, used a lot of energy, which flows through the MPN transistor. And then the ingestible resistor control the power to the air fountain, as explained right here. Project 153 is blinker beeper. I'm going to set the adjustable resistor to the middle setting and turn on the slide switch. And the speaker makes noise as the LED flashes. And what's interesting is that the color LED has a microcircuit, as I have mentioned before, 
And not only does it cause the LED to change colors, but also it changes the current through the circuit and the MPN transistor amplifies the current and it is converted to sound through the speaker. For project 154, blinker blinker, I replaced the speaker with the bicolor LED and you can have it oriented in either direction. And now when I turn on the slide switch, the color LED is controlling the current through the bicolor LED and it is blinking and flashing as well. Project 155 is blinker control. Both LEDs are on and flashing. The RV2 here is used to control the rate at which they blink, hence the name of this project. And the color LED is controlling the bicolor LED via the Q2 transistor. And if I was to remove the color LED, the bicolor LED will go off as well. But if I was to remove the bicolor LED, the color LED would stay on. You could also swap the locations of the LEDs and now the bicolor LED is controlling the color LED via the Q2 transistor. And if I removed it, the color LED will go out. Removing the color LED does not have an effect on the bicolor LED now. You could also change the orientation of the bicolor LED or replace the bicolor LED with the speaker. And listen to that unique sound. Project 156 is red lights first. I have the switcher set to the middle position and the RV2 lever set all the way to the left. When I turn on the slide switch, the color LED lights, although you see mostly red, you don't see any blue. And that's because right on this setting, the LED is only receiving three volts of electricity. These batteries are not included in the circuit yet. Now I'm going to gradually move the RV2 lever to the right and the LED color LED gradually dims, but red is the last light to go out. Red requires the least energy of the three colors. Now for the second part, I'm going to move the switcher on to the left and the LED is now brighter and you can see blue as well. And I'll adjust the RV2 lever again slowly, but blue and green are the first lights to go out before red. Finally, I'm going to move the slide switch up here. Now, the circuit is receiving six volt, the LED color LED is receiving six volts of electricity and it is at full brightness and all colors are visible. The RV2 also has a much larger range, but again, red may be the last of the lights to go out. Project 157 is red just before yellow. I'm going to move the switcher to this position and then I'll slowly move the lever on the RV2 to the right until the bicolor LED lights up. It's a uh, dim yellow now, but now I'm going to move the switcher to the uh, opposite position and move the RV2 until the bicolor LED glows red. Now leaving at that setting, I'm going to move the switcher back to the opposite position. I'm actually going to move it just like that. 
but typically the red will be visible just before the yellow light is on because red requires less voltage than yellow. You can see it's dim, but the yellow LED is not on when I move the switcher. Now I'm going to just move it ever so slightly, but now the yellow LED starts to light up, yellow and the bicolor LED. Now I'm going to move the slide switch to the top position here so that both sets of batteries are included in the circuit. And I will slowly move the RV2 to the right. Yellow LED comes on, but I just, I move it so it just turns off. And the red LED comes on and it's very dim. Move it back to the, so it would be on the yellow setting and the yellow does not come yet. Also, the yellow LED at full brightness may be slightly brighter than the red one. 158 is loud sirens. Turn down your volume, please, because it is going to be loud indeed. You hear a loud fire engine siren. You can change the tone of the siren by removing the two snap and one snap wire here. Now you hear a police car siren, or you can insert it on other in other positions. That's a machine gun sound, and then a European siren. Project 159 is adjustable volume sirens. I modified the previous circuit to include the RV2 resistor, and the siren is much quieter. Move the lever to change the volume of the siren. It's barely audible on the lowest setting. Then you can get the different variants. 